What's going on guys, Dr. Group 7 signing in, back with another tutorial video. Ryu Jinx, an emulator for the Nintendo Switch because Yuzu emulator works like... Shit! And it doesn't run the games that I'm trying to demonstrate on my videos quite nicely. I'm kind of pissed off because I was trying to run Sports Story through the Yuzu emulator, however, it's stuck in an endless loop. I'm looking for an alternative and I came across Yuzu. So just go to the link in the description and download the rare file, extract the contents you're going to find publish. If your Windows Defender or antivirus software detects it as something malicious, just fuck it. Just disregard that warning, allow that file and you're going to get this rare file, extract the contents, you're going to get this folder, go into the folder, go into publish, you're going to find all these files just go ahead and run Ryu Jinx. So I'm here on the screen because it says Ryu 0001 keys not found. Set up the keys as well as the firmware. You can do it through a jailbroken Nintendo Switch. However, that's too much complicated. I hate complications. So we're going to use the most easiest method. Go into the link in the description, the second link, and download the firmware version 15.0.1, which is the latest version. Also, make sure you download 15.0.1 keys file. Additionally, for those who want to find out how Yuzu emulator works or are interested in trying out different kind of emulators, you can check out my Yuzu emulator tutorial. Now it says use Vulkan as default graphics backend. It says now supports Vulkan API, greatly improves shader compilation performance and fixes some graphical glitches. However, since it's a new feature, you may experience some issues that did not occur with OpenGL. Vulkan is basically your GPU. I'm going to stick with OpenGL also. They are recommending OpenGL at this moment because this is a, the Vulkan is a very new feature. Fun fact, I'm going to be trying out both the settings, both the OpenGL and the Vulkan. So I'm going to start off with OpenGL, see how that performs, and then I'm going to switch to Vulkan and see how that performs. Okay, let's apply the keys first. Here you're going to go into files and open the folder, go into system and paste the keys file into the system folder. So it should be like this. Ryu Jinx system and then into the system folder. Okay, so it's time for us to check if the keys file has been copied in the right directory or not. So in order to do that after copying and pasting those files, just close the emulator, go ahead and run the emulator once more if you do not get that error message. So we successfully installed the keys file. Now it's time to install the firmware. Go to tools, go into install firmware from a directory, extract the contents, do not forget to do that, extract the contents of the downloaded rare file that uh, you downloaded from the firmware website. Just go into the location where you have your firmware file downloaded and extracted. Hit on open and let's just follow through the process. Performing the update, it says install firmware 15.0.1. Do you want to continue? Let's go ahead and hit on yes. Firmware version has been successfully installed. We're going to Close the emulator once more. We're gonna go into settings. So native 720, you can increase the resolution scale. I'm just gonna keep it to native. In order to configure the controller, make sure that you select the connected controller and then select the controller type. Highlight this, do not hover the mouse pointer like this. It's gonna create some issues. So click on this, make sure it gets highlighted and then press the desired button. Perfect, it's done. Add this profile as PS4 add and set on OK. Motion controls, uh, if you want, you can, but I really don't like this feature. Our initial setup of the emulator is done. Do not ask where I acquired the backups from. Don't do that here. All right, guys, so we managed to boot up Sports Story. I was getting a little bit of less FPS in the game, so what I did is tweak some settings, go into settings and go into system, uh, go into graphics and I have disabled enable shader cache under the enhancement section and anisotropic filtering set to 2x and also resolution scale set to native for inputs for the joypads. Make sure you save the input or else save and apply the joypad settings or else it's not going to load up 
the configuration go into options go into input configure player one select the playstation controller set the keys according to your preference and add the you know you can you can make a profile i'll just do ps4 pad and i'll just load it up hit on save at the bottom hit on apply and save and that's it Okay, so we are in game. Beach Sandies doesn't look appetizing. However, his coach needs that. Coming right up. Okay, so we are in game right now. It's kind of like he's running. I don't know if he's running slow or the game is slow because I, I'm pretty sure this this isn't the speed the game runs at because on the nintendo switch it runs a bit faster you know all right guys so i'm trying this game with vulcan performance was not that good with opengl now i did some minor tweakings even with vulcan it wasn't performing too well i'm just gonna get into the settings a little bit later i'm just gonna show you guys how the game is running so at this moment i don't think it can run any faster than this with my current configuration which i think is pretty okay it's running not too bad yeah let's go get the beach sandy it's a lot more faster as compared to opengl i'm just gonna show you guys what i did so these are the settings that i did so i just disabled all the enhancements i just set the graphics back end multi-threading to auto and that's it so that's what increased the performance of the game which i think is not too bad now this guy wants juice which is a drag get some orange juice for coach so yeah so it's running pretty okay i would say uh, graphics are also looking perfect for those with better configuration you can try with different settings by increasing the resolution however when it comes to the tweakings it's better that you keep those settings like how i did in order to get the best performance so yeah that uh, was it for this tutorial Liu Jinx emulator installation and setup for the first time along with sports story if you found this tutorial useful Please make sure you drop in a like and subscribe. Until next time, Dr. Brute7 signing off. Peace.